All right, welcome. Uh, this is Jason with Illinois Learn to Hunt. I'm here with my fellow instructor, Curtis. Curtis, you want to say hi real fast? Hi, Curtis here. Curtis, and we are here today with uh, Holly Tutton, who is a um, tick researcher, and her title right now is a vector ecologist from the Medical um, Entomology Lab at Illinois Natural History Survey. Um, so Holly, welcome. Hi. <laughs> and hi. Um, so um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how did you get first, how did you get studying ticks? Because um, it's, it's kind of an odd thing to study. Yeah. Um, we're going to have to rewind all the way to 2005. <laughs> um, so I was a, a first generation college student, first in family, um, and um, had to uh, work my way through college. So I always had some other type of job along with my studies, whether it was waiting tables or painting houses. Um, and one summer uh, between my junior and senior year, there was an opportunity floating around to conduct field work collecting ticks in North Carolina. Uh, and it didn't pay great, uh, but it paid enough. And I also realized that they were going to pay me to drive all around my home state, which I love doing. Um, and I like the woods. Uh, I had no idea what I was getting into. Um, my first couple weeks, I got ravaged by mosquitoes. Um, but that summer, I realized that I had an abiding fascination um, with vectors, with ticks and mosquitoes. And it brought me, the work brought me to my first mentor who uh, got me over to Clemson for a graduate program following my degree. Awesome. So um, what research have you been doing recently now? So uh, for the past couple of years uh, at the INHS Medical Entomology Lab, I've been uh, developing a statewide tick surveillance program for Illinois. Okay, so what have you guys uh, been surveilling? What are you looking for exactly? So we have two primary surveillance targets and that's the black-legged tick, which people are more familiar with as the deer tick um, and the Gulf Coast tick. Um, we have an entire suite of criteria for the different habitats where we might find them. And we also use uh, records from the Illinois Department of Public Health indicating where people might have had a tick bite exposure that led to illness. And we go into these areas uh, to look for these species of ticks. And then while we're doing the sampling for them, if we pick up other species of ticks, such as the Lone Star tick or the American dog tick, we also collect those. Okay, so you're just trying to see where they're at in the state at this point? At this point, yeah, we're filling in the map. Um, so there's a publicly available map that I'll talk a little bit more about in a few minutes. Um, and what we're doing is getting to every corner we possibly can, looking for ticks. Uh, we bring them back to the lab, identify them, and then we test them for different uh, disease-causing agents, uh, whether that's bacteria or viruses. Um, and so all of those data we then take and hand, hand over to IDPH and they put it up on publicly available maps of their website. Um, at this point, uh, being a couple years in, we're also uh, beginning um, some new research paths that will cycle back in to inform risk awareness um, for um, hikers, hunters, um, and uh, that's, for instance, understanding how different populations of ticks in the state are related to each other, because that's going to give us a better idea of how they're moving around the state. Um, are they moving short distances or long distances? Um, we're also working with Trent Ford, the Illinois state climatologist, to get a better understanding of how uh, Illinois' climate interacts with vector populations to affect human uh, health risk. Um, but right now our primary objective is getting out, getting as many ticks as we can, filling in that map, testing as many ticks as we can, filling in that map, but then branching off into different arenas that will allow us to uh, develop a more refined understanding of risk in the state. I got to ask about this map. So what, what ticks can we find in what places in Illinois? Okay, so uh, a general summary, um, would basically be, so the black-legged tick, right? That's more commonly known as the deer tick. Um, 
in general, the pattern that seems to be holding for this tick, um, and there's also some outstanding work that's been done by Brian Allen at the University of Illinois Entomology Department. Um, so he's been here a bit longer than us, and he's a close collaborator of our lab. Um, and he's also been looking at black-legged tick populations. And they just, uh, he just had a publication out of uh, this month um, where uh, they were predicting how soon the Lyme disease bacterium will follow tick populations as they move into the state. Um, but in general, it seems we've got the black-legged tick coming from the north. So coming from Wisconsin and Michigan down into Illinois and moving down into central Illinois. Um, and then from the south, uh, we, we definitely have um, a rapidly advancing front of the Lone Star Tick. Um, so they're already up in central Illinois, as, as far north as Kankakee County. Um, we've got American dog ticks all over the state. And then we've got this developing Gulf Coast tick story uh, where it's starting to look like um, we might have some populations, some established populations in southern Illinois. As to whether they'll move north or not in the coming years, that remains to be seen.